cost of living in the Philippines? Does it still exist? Um, if you're on a tight budget, you can still live pretty cheap in the Philippines. In, in all honesty, you can. The one thing you do have there is because of the divide between the rich and poor so broad, um, you can sit in the middle quite comfortably. Uh, where it sort of throws a spanner in the works is when you start talking about Western diets and things like that where the costs go up. But you can find a reasonably priced apartment or a house, um, go slightly provincial, they get cheap, and they go very provincial, they get stupidly cheap. Um, the main reason, my personal preference is sort of sit inside the, in the middle, sort of near a city but not too close, is you've got access to good hospitals, good schools, infrastructure basically. Um, but... A lot of that's improving anyway. It's, it's slow because obviously the Philippines is quite a scattered country in the sense of so many islands. But at the same time, it is slowly improving. Um, but I do think you can live there quite cheap. I mean, when we first lived there, we, we were living on about 5,000 pesos a month. Um, not that I advise other people to do that and base that as their only uh, amount of money to live on. I'm just saying we could and did live on 5,000 pesos a month. Uh, this is back in 2007, 2007. Um, but what you find is you move, as you get there settled, you start to get more comfortable. So you go, well, I don't need fans. But then you, you have a hot summer and think, you know what, I'll get some air con in. And then your electric bill's gone from, say, three or 400 pesos a month to 1,500 or 1,800 a month because of the air conditioning. Um, but in all honesty, if you keep your living basic, then of course you can live there cheap. There's no getting away from it. Of course you can. Um, I know if I was there with just me and the wife or me on my own, um, I could easily live on 10,000 a month. And I know some people go, oh, that's not enough. It's like, yeah, but you can do it. That's what I'm saying. You can do it. Um, you will end up with a lot of white rice in your diet. Uh, you will end up with a lot of soy sauce because <laughs> you're flavoring everything. Um, and a lot of chicken or bits of pork and stuff. Uh, but you're dropping onto a basic diet. Because one of the things I noticed when I went to Negros Island was the portions were cheaper uh, compared to Cebu. But you seem to get about 30% more. Um, you know, like in the rice portions, the chicken and everything, it, it seemed to be a lot cheaper than it was in Cebu, on Cebu Island. Um, so there is some savings to may, be made regionally. Um, would I recommend living on a small budget? I, I can't recommend it to anybody unless I actually knew them. The reason being is some people, as you see when people talk about how much you should live on, um, they will, some want 2,000, some want 500, some say they can do it on 400, um, and that's dollars by the way, um, but ultimately it's down to what the person finds comfortable, uh, but I do think you can get a reasonably priced property to rent for probably about 6,000 pesos, I do think you could get your electric bill probably down to probably about 2,000 pesos, depending what you're running. You know, if you've got no air con and it's just fans, you could probably get that under 1,000. Um, but it all depends on your lifestyle, because the longer you're there, you start going, oh, I want a motorbike. So you buy a motorbike, and it, oh, I want a car. And, it, you know, you, as you do. So, but potentially, yeah, you can certainly live there quite cheap if you want to. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's certainly possible. And I've done it. I've, I've we had our our first uh, property. Um, there was no aircon. We did. We just had wall fans, and I was perfectly fine for that. You know, it doesn't really bother me. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you live cheap, you can live cheap because locals live cheap. Let's be honest. If you if you can feed a family of bloody five on a hundred pesos a day, I'm sure you could feed yourself on a hundred pesos a day. It may not be the food you want, but you could certainly feed yourself. Um, so yeah, it's definitely doable. Um, buy a sack of rice and keep everything basic. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>